Hey Raiders, welcome back to another Live Arena Battle video. This video will feature 5 fights and 3 wins. Got off to kind of a rough start, but then salvaged it pretty well, so kind of back on winning ways at least. So, first one is called Arena. And he'll pick Warlord first, seems benign. And then I go Wukong and Ultimate Death Knight. I think I'm about to stop picking Wukong first, I'm just going to try and pick Ultimate Death Knight first, get Duchess next, and then go from there on my teams. So then he goes Trunda and Rhonda, and that again seems pretty benign. And then he'll pick his last two, and I will have no defense against this. So this is double reset, double cooldown, and with the team I have, it's unlikely Duchess is going to be able to resist them. It's unlikely anyone is going to be able to resist them. I put in Necret. What I really needed was tanky damagers who do good A1 damage. So Skull Crown might have worked in there. Um, there are various champions that could have worked, but when you get that selected and I only have one left, and you know you can ban it and beat the first four, I just have no defense against this team. I thought I'd try it, see, maybe I can get their... Damage her Rhonda down. I banned the Trunda because she will do some serious damage on me. Probably one shot a couple of my champions, and then I'm really done. So I did that, but this team really is helpless with all the resets, all the cooldowns. I'm just not going to be able to use any skills. And Ramon 2's gone. I have no revivers. So this one was lost from the beginning. Now, the double... The double cooldown is not a team I've seen before, and I've heard other content creators talk about it too. It just isn't used very often. So that's just kind of a fluke team. Good job on you for putting that team together and just catching people by surprise. Sometimes that's what you got to do is have your own trick to things. So my next fight, I'll do Wukong first. See what he goes with. He goes with Marichka and Crixia. So that's a tough one right there, because I've got to ban the Crixia. She's cooldowns, and the Mythicals just have multiple skills that are really good. So cooldown and reset, I think Crixia has, but on separate skills. And so I'm going tanky, but with my Wukong. See what he goes with next. So he goes Arbiter and Rhonda. Rhonda seems to be pretty popular for countering Wukong, especially in a speed team with Arbiter. And at this point, since I gone, I've gone double tanky, if I don't go a Reviver here, I don't have one. If I do, he can just ban the Reviver. So, see who he goes with next. And so he's, and he's got Tormen, so he's going to ban the Duchess, and he does that. And Outlook not too great on this one. There are some team compositions where you really need double revivers so that they don't eliminate you pretty easily. And then there are other team compositions where you really don't even need a reviver. So it just, people's styles really play in. And so Foley's gone quickly. I didn't even get a chance with Foley to try and take out, say, Tormund. I mean, I did okay starting off with damage with Wukong, but didn't do well enough. He did cut in after Arbiter, which looked pretty good. And I'm still in this thing, but I don't have that block revive now. And so Foley really needed to be able to block revive somebody like Tormund. If I could have got past Tormund, if I could have block revived both Tormund and Rhonda, that really would have helped. So if, if Foley was, say, in Stoneskin, that might have worked. But then the application of using Foley in Stoneskin further reduces his damage. He would be slower, which in against this team would be okay, but in general I need him fast to fight Wukong. So maybe the answer is to go ahead and build one of my teams, uh, one of my Anithways in Stoneskin. I've seen a lot of Stoneskin Anithway. The problem with Anithway is even though he has really high base attack, he just doesn't have good multipliers, and so he's hard to use. He's hard to get good damage out of, so you have to have just extra good builds on him for him to do his thing. So, trying to do this, I mean, I've got them low, but it's hard when I've got to keep taking out Marichka, and then go after Arbiter, try to get Arbiter down simultaneously, and then there's the freeze from Tormund. I mean, this, this wasn't out of reach, 
but maybe if I just had a little bit better of the block revive champion so that he wasn't killed by Ronda right off the bat, then I might have had a chance. So I start off the day 0-2, and, and I'm thinking, okay, let's not have a repeat of the other day. I really just want to have a winning day because most of my days are winning days. It's just when I start off slow and things kind of snowball from there, then I start playing worse and make worse choices. So battle number three, they'll go Arbiter first, and I'll go Tanky, and they will go... Astrolith, so I'm looking at Astrolith, I'm thinking they're going to go with a debuff spreader, and I'm thinking Astrolith is going to be my ban target. They're going to go debuff spreader, and they're going to go second nuker that's not bombs. So that basically if you ban either Astrolith or the debuff spreader, they still have, say, like a Baron or a Georgid to counter you. So, going with Stoneskin Errol. And they're going to go with Garal, which Garal is a big hitter. And they're going to go with Aleel, which is kind of a weird pick. Some people use him to hit through the stone skin, but he's hard to build that way. And then others use him for his A1 guaranteed buff strip. So it could be Aleel is going to go try and strip the buffs off of the Necret protected. So we'll get into this one and see how it goes. As I did ban the Astrolith, and I feel pretty good about this one. Stone, Stone Skin was stolen by Morrigan off my Errol, and then Wukong stole it right back. So I am in control of this fight, and Wukong with Stone Skin pretty much means this is a win right here. They don't have anybody who can support this team. Um, all I got to do is get back around to Wukong. A little bit of heal there on Garal, but... All I got to do is just Staff of Wonder off Corral, and this one's over. And there we go. So my first win of the day, I'm 1-2. and two. And I'm going to go back to the kind of trick of pausing a little bit to try not to get rematches. I'm just not very good in rematches. So if I lose, I'm not too worried about it. If I win, I don't want to rematch against somebody I beat, because they'll probably beat me the next time. So... I'll get the first pick on fight number four, and I'll go Wukong. It seems like the vast majority of Wukongs now in Gold 2 are damage Wukongs. They're not the support version. So that makes Ultimate Death Knight that much better against Wukong. So that means Ultimate Death Knight being the first pick is probably a really good choice. So I like my chances here with Duchess Necret and Ultimate Death Knight, and then my two damagers of Wukong and Errol. And I'm going to have to ban the Yumiko. They banned my Wukong, so I cannot steal the block damage. Oh, actually, they don't ban my Wukong. Who am I kidding? They ban my Ultimate Death Knight, so they can attack and kill my Necret right off the bat. And my Wukong is going to go pretty soon. I kind of messed up my Wukong build because he's now faster than my Duchess. So... I'm going to try and steal the block damage off of Leorius, and I fail, and it's because he has Lightning Cage. I probably should have just killed Arbiter or killed um, Cardial there. Still okay. I'm able to sheep the Leorius. But this fight would have been faster had I noticed the Lightning Cage buff and not gone after the Leorius, because basically you only have a 50% chance of stealing a buff off of him. And then nothing happens. He doesn't die or anything. So, kill the Arbiter, but she pops back up. Kill her again, so she's gone. Drop attack on Leorius, and then protect the Duchess, and I should be in control of this fight now. Even if Leorius drops Necret like he just did. He still has decreased attack. Wukong's gone. I'll wait for Wukong to come back up. Then I gotta kill Leorius a couple times. And somewhere in the middle of there, he might get annoying and put up another block damage. So Leorius is gone. Now I can bring everybody back. All I got to do is deal with Helicath, and he'll leave the battle. So at 2-2, two and two, I'm kind of like, well, I started off bad. Kind of recovered a little bit. Maybe I should quit now. But I'm like, no, I need to finish off, finish off my 5. 
So I'm going to go ahead and go back in and get somebody else. And I match up with looks like Migdas. He'll go Arbiter first, and I will go Tanky again. That's kind of been my response. However, I've noticed that bombs in response to going Tanky can be a good... It can be a good fit because you have two support there already. You already know who it is. All you have to do is just buff strip, and you can bomb everybody out. So, I don't know. Might be better to go with something else. But the double tanky is tough. So he's got Xena, and I don't have anybody that's going to trigger Xena. But he is a speed team, so Xena's probably built pretty well. And he's got Baron, but I've got... All stone skin, except Wukong. And he banned the Wukong. Actually, I don't have stone skin on, on Necret, of course, but Necret can probably stand the Baron, and he does, but then he dies to the Xena. Put up the block damage. So Necret's gone already, right off the bat, but this is a pretty squishy team. All I have to do, as you can see there, Errol gets lucky on his hit on Duchess. Actually, <laughs> now that I mention it, Errol is at a disadvantage against Duchess. I think I probably got pretty lucky in this game, in this match, that if I'm able to take out Duchess and I was able to get her steadily lowered, the AoE attacks were kind of working. And as I get a little farther into this fight, the Duchess isn't that strong. It is a fairly squishy Duchess, which you can't count on. And Errol's going to have his double hit in a second here. I don't know. Ar Arbiter used her revive. Use the double hit, both weak hits on Duchess. Duchess should have her revive now. Now both their revives are gone. Use the AoE off of Helicath. Single target hit from Errol. Try and kill the Duchess, got her, so that wasn't a weak hit. And he can't single target the Errol, but Xena should have Errol gone. She's counterattacked and dead, and then I finish him off. So that was that worked out, that win. Uh, Duchess, if she'd been a bit tankier, might have been a bigger problem for me because my Helicath doesn't have the damage. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and take care.